Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here today. We are going to show you how to change the keyboard on a Dell Latitude E5550 laptop. Shown here is the laptop, your new keyboard, and the tools you'll need. A small Phillips and a small flathead screwdriver. To get started, you need to take off the retaining ring, which goes around the keyboard. It just pops off. There's no screws. You can see how we did that. Just popped it up with a flathead screwdriver, pulled it off. Now, that exposes the screws that hold the keyboard in place. So the first thing we have to do is undo the screws from the top side here of the laptop. There are several of these. Just uh, replace them or take them out and don't forget where you put them. Now, you can't take the keyboard out until you get down underneath and replace move uh, unhook the connector so on the bottom of the laptop you gotta take several screws off we've already removed them but you'll see where they're located then you pop a flathead screwdriver into that spot right there there's a spot to put it in and the bottom will pop off then in order to complete this process you have to take the battery out because the keyboard connector to the motherboard is underneath the battery so a couple of screws hold that in pull off the connector and there are four keyboard connection connectors to the motherboard. Undo the connecting snap ring and there you go. Now the connector is disconnected. You can go back to the top and pry up on the keyboard and it will unsnap and come out and you'll be able to Get it in your hand along with the connector. Now you take the new keyboard. You gotta fish the cables through the one hole, and then there's some little tabs on the top. Little tabs on the top. See, there's five of them, and they they kind of fit underneath that bezel on the top of the uh, laptop there. So they kind of snap them under, and then get that cable going down through the hole push it down snapper in place once it's snuggled into its location you can take the screws that you previously undid and screw down the keyboard There's a few screws there to get it all put in place this um, process is fairly quick now you put the retaining ring the first step that we did earlier when we removed that you see that slips right over top of the keyboard and it just snaps in place no screws just work your th fingers around and push it down make sure that it's seated properly now you can flip the laptop over and those four connectors to the motherboard you can reattach them now just reversing the process that you previously did when you unattach them. They, they just slide into place and then the locking mechanism slips over the, to hold them in, in place. Four of them. Get them in. Now you got to put the battery back on. Put the battery and plug its connector back in. And a couple of screws that hold that battery in place. And another YouTube will talk more about replacing the battery. Okay, now you put the back of the laptop back on with its several screws just to make for time efficiency here. We're not going to screw all those in, but you can see, get it snapped into place. We'll put a couple of them in there. And that's it. So if this you found this uh, useful, please like our video and... Uh, also, subscribe to our channel. We come out with all kinds of tips and tricks for fixing your laptop. Fred from the Laptop Barn here.